My name is Chestnuts. And I have a very special show to show you today. This show is about the many different origins of Santa Claus. Now, for out, now lately, during this, these few past few years, there has been a lot of adaptations of the story of Santa Claus. And now, today, I'll be doing a TV show reviewing all these special stories of his story of Santa Claus and see how they hold up and see which one would be real to you guys. And you could talk to comments below about all your favorites or the ones that I may have missed or you want to see me to review in the comments below. Let me know, please, because this show is all about that kind of stuff. I'm going to go through the history, the legacy that it held up on, and the story that it tells. Throughout, I want you to pay attention on them. Some of them are even musicals, and some are even just movies. So let's just pay attention. This will, these movies will include many different newer ones and some older ones too. Also, I might be doing some more Christmas movies as we go along. So let's just see what happens. Today, we're gonna to start with Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which is a very old Christmas movie, which is one of the first ones I have seen that tells the story of Santa Claus. Well, upon reading all of his letters to the children, writing to Santa, he notices that a lot of them are asking a lot of questions. Like, Santa, why are you wearing that big suit? Santa, why do you go down the chimney? And all that kind of stuff. So he goes upon himself to tell the children the story of Santa Claus. According to this story, Santa Claus is raised by, by elves called the Kringles that, that are toy makers. So they teach Chris to build toys. Eventually, they would get them up the mountain to Sombertown. Eventually, when Chris grew up, he was able to bring them to Sombertown. But unfortunately, Burger Meister Burger forbids toys to stay with children. So he's not allowed to, to so they're not allowed to play with any toys at all. But still, Chris proceeds and, set, and decides to, to give the toys to the children secretly. Anyway, that's the story, and a little help from Jessica, who is Mrs. Claus, joins in as his love interest. And that is the story from what I can tell. And then there's also Winter Warlock, who helps out with, with Santa's runabouts, like his magic and stuff, like his magical snowball, where you can see where, is the, where the children have been naughty or nice. Anyway... Anyway... That's the story as far as I know. This movie has spawned a lot of a lot of classics. As far as I know, there's not really much history to say about this movie. But it has spawned a video game. A few soundtracks. And also, the title of the movie is based off of a song. Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which is part of the soundtrack. Bring on... Freeform or or ABC or ABC Family. It has going on for years on that screen. And as far as I know, the history on it is not quite clear. As far as I know, it was during the golden age of of Rankin Bass when they were making all their great movies. During this time, they made movies such as Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer was their first one. So Rudolph was their first. Then came Frosty. Little Dora Boy, and more. Pretty much there's no order of these. We just know that Rudolph is the first one. So this spawned off to make this movie, featuring Ricky Rooney as, Frost, as, as Santa Claus. Mickey Rooney has been voicing Santa Claus for quite some time for many specials, including this one. As far as I know, that is the legacy of this movie. There is not much to say. Of course it has collections of many different duties you can get this on. So I recommend you go and watch this movie for yourself. It is really an enjoyment to watch. And it really is good for your kids to watch too. It is really a classic and good to watch for any Santa Claus origin story. It is really the best one I know about. And we'll start on more of these soon. And I'll see you next time on more of these. I'm sorry there's not much of a history on this one, but it's very rare. As far as if this is a stop motion movie. And some of it is made of wood and clay.
Anyway, as far as I know, that's all I gotta say about this movie, and I'll see you next time. Bye! And Merry Christmas! Next time, we'll be looking at Klaus.